Hi, good day. It's Dexter, Flora Magnifica. So today we're going to be showing you how we acclimatize the plantlets from tissue culture flask to the tray and then to where we put them in the proper condition to acclimatize. Here the uh, tissue culture plantlets uh, still inside the flask and sealed. Um, and we have the tray in here and the media that we use. First step will be removing these plantlets out and then washing off the flask and then washing these um, plantlets with running water and then drying them off a little bit and then um, planting it in the media. So we have here the media, we just unwrap the seal and the lid, put that on the side, then open, pop it open, put that on the side, and so we have the media open. This is the Philodendron Pink Princess. Now we will then use our hands, um, make sure your hands are clean and you've Wash it with soap and water before handling these um, plantlets to avoid contamination. Um, they normally come out as that. We can get a clean paper towel here, put them on paper towel individually. As you can see, so that's the plantlet and it's got a lot of roots in there. Put them on a paper towel. So we got eight plants in there, plantlets. Um, some have, are actually clusters, so you get multiple plants in, in one cluster. So what we do next is clean these root areas um, remove the the gel media that's sticking in there that is in order for the surface of the roots to be cleaned and um, it will be able to absorb the nutrients from the media that we are using so this one get your um, running water gentle running water and then just um, wash it if you got dried leaves in there it, this is the best time to to remove the dried leaves and gently brush off the gel media of the root, root area. Um, with the cluster, we recommend to leave the small plantlets in there because separating them will actually a very, very slim chance for them to to grow at that very small stage, young stage. So once that's done, the media is almost, all of the media is gone. Then we just put them in a dry paper towel and then continue with the rest of the batch. So once they're all washed off, um, you can continue drying them off to the next paper towel just to try and get rid of the excess water and plant parts. No need to be super dry, you just need to just try and remove the excess water, that's all. And then while they're drying off in there, um, we will <laughs> prepare the planting tray. So we have the media here, it's um, chopped sphagnum moss uh, mixed with um, fine textured perlite, fine size. Now we just uh, place them in the, in the tray. Once the media or the, the tray has been filled with media at the brim, we then try to poke a hole in the middle for the plant to go in. So you can use your finger in there or get a small stick, a barbecue stick or something and try to get a sort of um, estimated size for your 
plans to go in uh, later on. So once that's ready, uh, we take the plant and then try to position it in a hole. Once it's there, we try to press the side. hold the plant in its position and make sure that the roots are properly settled in and an intact covered with the media and that's, that's pretty much it so this is, um, this is how you try just a tip on how you handle it try to um, get the leaves in that position that's the hole there pushing the plant and then put more, more media on the side using your stick push the media in on the side to hold the plant in position a little bit more of the media and then that's it so once that's done um, we if you got a box like this, um, you can put your your, your plant lid or your, uh, new plant inside the box. So this will actually how they would look like. They're all pink princess in there with nice variegation marble leaves. Um, so yeah, you position the a plant there somewhere in one spot. Or if you don't have a big box like this, um, you can just grab a a takeaway container like this and put your plantlet tray in there and put another one on top and then um, yeah push, put this under a, a grow light they don't need to have really bright light just as long as they got a little bit of light so um, you can either put a, a sticky tape on the side, it doesn't need to be sealed because it needs some air anyway, but uh, putting this, uh, this lid on top will actually give the, the plantlet some good humidity in there and, and warmth as well. So um, they don't need to be in a, um, in a heat mat, but if you have a heat mat that would be an advantage. If you have a greenhouse or a small um, tent, that would be good as well. Um, and then, yeah, and then you'll just have to wait and see and, and uh, let these babies grow until they go big. So that's pretty much how we um, acclimatize the plants. Actually, if you got any questions, send us a message or put us a comment below. Um, hopefully you learned something from that. And have a good day, till next time.